When multiplying or dividing, the answer must have the same number of sig figs as does the quantity with the fewest sig figs. So here are a couple of examples. When you're multiplying or dividing, you need to count up the significant figures on each of your quantities. Here we have three significant figures. Here we have four. And then the rule says that our answer should have the same number of sig figs as does the quantity with the fewest. This one has three, this one has four, three is less than four, so we type this into our calculator and we round it to three significant figures. This quantity, 0 0.443, has three significant figures. And of course we keep the units in there unless they cancel. The reason for the picture down here at the bottom of the screen is that I call this the few, the proud, the marines rule. Let's try the next example. This first quantity has three significant figures. Remember that zeros to the left of the box are never significant. So this has three significant figures. This next quantity has three. This one has two. Of those, the smallest number is two. So when we type that into our calculator, we want to round it such that that would have two significant figures. Zeros on the left are not significant. When we're adding or subtracting, there's a different rule that applies. When we're adding or subtracting, the answer must be rounded to the place value of the least precise quantity. So what we have in this first example is we have a quantity that is rounded to the hundredths place, and we have another quantity that's rounded to the tenths place. And I've shown that over here. So we are going to add these up on our calculator, and we are going to round our answer to the tenths place, because the tenths place is less precise than the hundredths place. There's our answer, 119.9 seconds. Notice that when we're adding or subtracting, we're not getting our fingers out and counting significant figures. We're looking at the least precise place value. In this second example, this first quantity is rounded to the hundredths place, this middle one is rounded to the thousandths, and this last one is rounded to the ten thousandths. The least precise of those is the hundredths place. And we're going to round our answer to the hundredths place. Whenever we use a conversion factor to convert one unit into a different unit, we need to remember that conversion factors are exact numbers, so they do not affect the number of sig figs. Whenever you do a conversion, your answer should have the same number of sig figs as does the quantity you start with. And product manufacturers don't often do that. You can see here in the lower left, three ounces they say is 85 grams. Three ounces has one significant figure. 85 grams has two. Technically that's not how we should do it. Here's another example right in the middle. One cup, 236 milliliters. I would much rather see 1.00 cups is 236 milliliters because 1.00 has three significant figures just like 236 has three significant figures. This picture on the lower right would be much better if it looked like that. Now, four significant figures, four significant figures in each one of the... So, whenever you do a conversion, make sure that your answer has the same number of sig figs as whatever you started with, no matter what conversion factor you used.